This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control, and today we're going to talk about powder post beetles. Say that three times fast. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the destruction they can do to your wood, uh, what they are. A lot of people don't know what they are, so if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and if you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. Sorry for the shakiness of the video. I don't have my tripod or anything like that today, but I want to show you what it takes to treat them, how to kill them if you have them, or what you'd look for if you hired pest control to take care of them. Um, so like I said, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel, and let's get on with the video. So if you've had problems with this type of frass, frass is the powder that's kicked up by, you know, carpenter ants, powder post beetles. If you'll look, this is siding to a shed. And so if you'll scrape this dust back, it's really fine, like talcum powder. See? Really, really fine dust. Um, this is caused by powder post beetles. You see this hole right here? This is a beetle hole. This is a powder post beetle hole. The beetle is a larva. It, it lays eggs in the wood, and the larva, kind of like a maggot, will crawl through this wood and eat the wood. Well, when the larva decides, ah, oh, it's time to be a beetle, they actually will eat a hole, an exit hole, at the surface, just like this. They'll tunnel back in so far. They'll pupate, they become a beetle, and then the beetle emerges, flies out, and this process starts all over again where they lay more eggs. So here's another hole right here. That's a powder post beetle hole, which the dust falls down and collects down here. See, that's there's no hole there where the dust is. It's falling from above, from these holes. So they can actually do a lot of damage. So here's another hole right here. See the dust? Again, powdery, very powdery, almost like talcum powder. This is why they call them powder post beetles. Powder post beetles do damage equivalent to termites. Um, and so they need to be addressed as soon as you start seeing these holes with this dust, you need to address the problem as soon as it arises. Because if you don't, after a few years, they can actually, this shed here, they'll actually make the whole entire building fall over to the ground. There's a reason they call them powder post beetles because they reduce the wood to powder. And if you look here on these floorboards, they've actually got holes all over the floorboards. See, there's there's a bunch. There's one here, 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 here. Lots of holes. We'll zoom back here, and we'll look at this floorboard. See, there's, there's all kinds of holes from the powder post beetles. Now, one of the problems with this specific building is the owner of the building had to actually sand the floors. The floors had a finish. When you're treating for powder post beetles, you need to remove the finish from the floor because you want the liquid to actually absorb into the wood. And if it's been treated with a polyurethane or some type of a, you know, a sealant to the wood, then it will not allow for the chemical to absorb into the wood. And what happens is when the powder post beetles eat through the treated wood, it kills them. So it stops the life cycle. It stops them from laying more eggs, which is where this problem has started in the first place, is when beetles come in and lay eggs on the wood. The adults die. They can't lay eggs anymore. And so you eliminate your powder post beetle problem. And the products that I recommend for doing this type of treatment, something like Timbor or Boracare, they're a sodium borate solution. They work really, really well for the treatment of the wood. You can actually treat them. Then you can come back uh, maybe in a couple weeks after everything has cured, and then you can reapply your polyurethane. You don't want to wash the surface of the wood. If there's any crystallization or anything like that that forms from treating the wood with the sodium borates, you want to leave that behind. That's what kills the beetles. But then you can put your staining and your polyurethane or whatever you're going to do right on top of the treated surface, and it will still kill powder post beetles. So 
Hopefully this video has helped you. I'm gonna set this camera up and I'm gonna film myself doing a little bit of treatment so you understand how to do it yourself if it's something that you wanna do. So like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot and y'all have a great day. Bye. Now in this video, you'll see that I am using, by lack of a better term, a very cheap plastic backpack sprayer. It's not a flow zone. It's not something any special. Uh, it's not very expensive. You could probably buy one for less than $100 at Tractor Supply, Southern States, Walmart, um, you know, anywhere you can buy these little plastic backpack sprayers. The reason I like to use a plastic backpack sprayer is because they, uh, borates will crystallize inside the hoses in the tips of your wand, and no matter how much you try to clean the stuff out of the tank, you always end up with crystalline, uh, borates inside the hoses and inside the wand. So I recommend not really spending too much money on a piece of equipment using sodium borates because of the type of damage that they can do to your equipment, but just a cheap little backpack sprayer that, you know, if it ends up breaking and you have to replace it, it doesn't really hurt your feelings too bad. Flow zones are very expensive. They can cost hundreds of dollars, and this is just a cheap little backpack sprayer. So if you'll notice, I'm actually spraying the wood very heavily. I'm, it's really thick. You can see that it's very wet. You want to wet the surface of the wood. The point is to get the sodium borate solution to actually soak really well into the wood so that when the powder post beetles or the wood bore beetles eat through the surface of the wood, it actually will kill them. It's a very successful way of eliminating these types of beetles. Then to try to save your buildings, your home, you can do the same thing on an understructure underneath a house. You just want to soak the wood down really well. And in this video, I'm only going to show a little clip of me treating the wall. You see, I'm really soaking it down really heavy. And I actually ended up treating the floor as well because like I showed you before, the owner of the shed actually had powder post beetles coming up through the floor. And so we treated the floor, we treated the wall, we soaked it all down with sodium borate solution. Uh, Timbor actually is what I used on this job. So if you get some Timbor, mix it properly. And then, like I said, always follow your label. The label's the law, follow your labels and you'll be able to get rid of your powder post beetles and your wood bores just like I do. So hopefully this video has been uh, educational and you've learned how to get rid of your beetles and be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget, hit the notification bell. Y'all have a good one. I really appreciate it.